Yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we have to get to the end of the runway for takeoff. So we're going to move the airplane Don't over the ground. View. And whenever we're on the ground, we call that taxiing, as opposed to driving. So we're going to taxi the airplane to the end of the runway so we can take off. Anthony, have you ever been on any roller coasters? No. Okay. So it's going to be just a little bit bumpy. You'll feel the plane kind of bouncing around a little bit. It's not dangerous at all. It's not going to hurt the airplane. If it makes you uncomfortable, you know, or a little worried, just let me know. But um, you get used to it real fast. It's just going to be a little bumps here and there. Traffic Sonic 604, Charlie Mike, departing 18, Midwest National. So we're going to pull onto the runway, and we're going to go to full power on the engine, and we're going to accelerate until we get up to flying speed, and we're going to lift off and climb out. Alright, so we're going to full power.
right, so right now we are about a thousand feet in the air. Well, that's actually pretty low for an airplane. Normally we fly much higher. But we're just doing a short flight, so we're not going to go real high. Plus, at this height we can see real good on the ground. So you can see houses and cars. And if you look down over there, those little black dots, those are cows. See them down over there? favorite things to do while flying is just to look down and see, you know, look at houses, look at farms. You see some pretty neat things that are looking down on the world. So we're coming up on the Missouri River here. I'm going to turn, you'll get a good look at it, and it's right in front of us. We're going to make a left-hand turn. And we're going to fly along the river for a few minutes. You doing all right? Everything good? Okay, good. Like I said, uh, these little pumps, they just kind of pump us around a little bit, doesn't really hurt us at all. And you get used to it pretty fast. But they don't look like they're bothering you at all, are they?
speed that looks pretty good, so I'm going to level the wing. So I'm going to push it the other way. And we're going to straighten out. And we're straight. And that's pretty much how we fly the airplane, is with our control stick like that. Notice we don't have to do a lot out every second. I can take my hands off and the plane doesn't come crouching down. The plane naturally wants to fly, which is good for us. Now, most of the time, I just kind of lightly rest my hands here so I can do what I need to. But some people think that if you're not touching it every second, you're going to crash. You're never going to crash. Midwest National Traffic, Sonic 604, Charlie Mike, 3 miles southeast, entering on a 45 for downwind, 1-8, Midwest National. All right, we're, um, we're heading back over towards the airport. You can't really see it yet, but it's over that way. We're going to come by and, uh, and get closer, and eventually we're going we're gonna to circle around the land. Midwest National Traffic, Sonic 604, Charlie Mike, turning downwind, Midwest National. So I'm going to lower the power a little bit, and you're going to hear that. the engine start to get just a little bit quieter. And then we're going to kind of turn and get lined up and for landing. Midwest National Traffic, Sonic 604, Charlie Mike, turning base, 1-8, full stop, Midwest National. Alright, so if you look right over there, that's the runway. That's where we're going to land. So we're going to get lower and lower, we're going to turn and get lined up with it, and eventually we're going to get right above the runway and land. Midwest National Traffic, Sonic, short final, 1-8, full stop, Midwest National. So as we get closer to the ground, it gets a little bumpier. That's because all the trees and buildings kind of churn the air all up. But it'll smooth out right before we touch down. 
Don't feel like it nice and smooth.